Oh my god. High anxiety? Hey, what's going on? We're at number 20. <laughs> hey, thanks for joining. Hey, thanks for stopping by. We're at number 20 right now. Sugar Ray Songs in Order. This is High Anxiety. Um, high Anxiety was like a lab experiment. Um, a lot of times in records, you'll have songs that work and, you know, they're, they're easy. Uh, not easy, but they just work. Then songs that you struggle with. Then there's like lab experiments like High Anxiety. Um, I think David, Kahn, and Mark really kind of like, um, well, they didn't write this, but David kind of took it under his wing to kind of create this, this, this interesting, weird song that like had all these parts in it. Um, we had a loop going on, and then the band kicked in live. Um, and we didn't, you know, I, I just made three different bass lines for the whole thing, and it was like... I think it's just C to B, C to B. And then he put this weird drum beat with like a, the pressure sound going up. Um, then there's a... And then... And then... That's kind of the heavy riff when it goes fast. Um, and Ronnie's just doing all these weird sounds and he follows me on the riff. But those are the kind of three weird parts that David took that we sat there and made these and he just like lifted up, he put his lab coat on and he got his beaker and he got his flask and he started making the song. Um, we, you know, we, we, uh, we were definitely drinking, a lot, you know, we, we wouldn't not drink in the studio. And this was a weird night, I think, for Mark. He, he can do his own like lyrics on Sugar Ray, but you listen to the w words, there's like weird stuff going on. And I think David was fascinated by like Mark's mind and what he, you know, Mark's secrets inside or whatever. And so I think David was trying to pull those out in this, called it High Anxiety. So yeah, anyways, let's see if we can play the music to High Anxiety. It's a weird song. It's a lab experiment. I never played it live, but let's just rock this thing. Let's see what we got. Okay. There's the loop we found. A lot of weird sounds, and then... Remember I played this bass and I did my fingers. Just doing that, the octave lower. Here we go. I think Mark cut this very late one night. <laughs> a few good men <laughs> I also want to say that riff the thing I made that was inspired by we did a song with uh, House of Pain anybody, does anybody remember the Jerky Boys soundtrack the, guy who, the guys who did Crank Calls and it was really funny um, we made uh, I wrote Roddy and I wrote a song with uh, House of Pain we wrote the music we wrote the riff for something um, for that, for that, uh, for that record, I believe, and um, 
I, I remember it was a cool riff and people liked it, so I was trying to recreate it for us on our record, and so that part was inspired by that. Back into, I think, the... These are three separate bass lines. Well, I'd never played them live in order. We just cut this song in sections. Like I said, it was a lab experiment. Need the pick back. I'm okay and I'm all right. I want to say something. That part of Mark singing right there, I've never understood it. It's the coolest thing I've ever heard. It's so weird sounding. Let me go back to it. That whole like blah blah blah. That was that was a nod. Black guys help the white guys. That was a nod to Stripes, the movie Stripes with John Candy and Bill Murray. Um, listen to this though. It's the most amazing vocal sound. I don't know if David tweaked it a little or Mark was just in a weird place, like vocally singing it. it to me, it sounds like Mike Patton of Faith No More and. It's the coolest thing I've ever heard him sing. It's so weird. This part. Not this. Coming up right here, like this part. What is that? That's so rad to me. It's always been so cool. It doesn't even sound like him. I mean, it does, but it's so contrasting. It's like, I don't even know. Did somebody else sing that? I'm pretty sure it's Mark and somehow... David just got that line to contrast hard with the other chorus of High Anxiety. But I've always loved that part to death. I, I thought it sounded a lot like Mike Patton of Faith the Moor, who we loved a lot. Faith the Moor is rad. Just that one little part. <laughs> Am I playing it clean in 2019? It's kind of a cool part. You know, you're supposed to play it um, like, and then and then mute the the low. Anyways, okay, there it is. High Anxiety, a super interesting album track that was sort of a lab experiment. Um, that there were parts I really loved about it, and um, but we never played it uh, live. So there's High Anxiety. Thanks for uh, stopping by. Appreciate you very, very much. Number 20, in the books. What does in the books mean? Like, what does that saying mean? In the books. Does it mean like written down, like logged back in the day? Anyways, number 20 is done. Tap, twist, snap is up next. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>